Well, I'm grateful to be in the studio and grateful for the time to talk to our WTL listeners. And thank you for listening out there. We pray that these segments before the sermon are helpful to you. And today I wanted to introduce you to a conference that we're going to put on at the end of May, May 29th through the 31st, 2015. And it's our Call for Discernment conference entitled A Call to Arms. And the conference will be discussing uh, how to protect your children and family from media's menacing dark side. And unless you've had your uh, head in the sand for the past several years, you've been just as impressed or staggered as I've been with the spread or advancement of technology, and not just the advancement of technology, but how technology has really infiltrated our homes. And if you're a parent, I know that this has probably concerned you just like it has me with how much uh, that influences our kids, how much that influences our home life, our family, uh, how much it may influence our parenting. And so we want to put this conference on to inform parents Uh, on how they can give them the tools and resources maybe that they can use to protect their children, protect their family from the negative influence of media and technology. And for that conference, we're very, very grateful to the Lord to have guest speaker Trace Embry with us. Uh, Trace Embry is a nationally syndicated radio host of Licensed to Parent and also the founder of a residential counseling program for troubled teens uh, called Shepherd's Hill Academy. Has a lot of experience in this area, has seen a lot of things and can uh, very expertly, we're grateful for that speak to these issues, and we're very, very uh, excited about um, hearing what Trace has to say uh, so that we can better protect our families. We're also grateful to have Trace in the studio with us to um, talk with us today. How are you doing, Trace? I'm doing wonderful, brother. Great. Well, it's great to have you here with us, and uh, we're really looking forward to the conference. I was thinking for our listeners out there who maybe want some more information about the conference, um, I thought to ask you a question and just let you talk about this for a moment, but uh, one of the things I think that's most uh, prominent in our news and maybe even in the understanding or the concern of our parents is the influence that social media has had on our kids, social media uh, has had on our families. There's so much in the news about sexting and the, I mean, with smartphones uh, and putting pictures out on social media that we shouldn't be putting out there and maybe conversations that we have on social media that we would never have face-to-face with another person. Uh, Maybe you can speak to that for a moment. What kind of influence do you see social media having on our kids and on our families? Well, it's huge. Uh, It's what the the local park or the drugstore used to be, uh, you know, a couple generations ago. You hang out the drugstore, you hang out the park, hang out, you know, the ball fields. Uh, Now kids are hanging out uh, virtually on uh, online. Uh, one third of public school, high school girls are sexting, uh, which is sending provocative images uh, across the um, airways. I think most of your listeners probably know exactly what that is. But but uh, Facebook has brought uh, people who are were far from us closer to us, and uh, has, has really distanced those who were closer to us, brought them to, 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 taken them far farther from us. And uh, you know, it used to be where you'd come home from school after. Uh, uh, a sporting event, or, or, or maybe after class, and the rest of the evening, uh, you know, maybe uh, especially after supper, uh, you'd hang out with your adult uh, family, you know, your mom, your dad, and you'd be getting adult influence and adult conversation. But today, uh, these kids uh, can take the, uh, uh, you know, the popular kids, the, the geeks, the perverts, the the uh, uh, the bullies, home with them. So they're taking their classmates home with them. And uh, they're having dialogue with their 300, uh, you know, Facebook friends, which, again, uh, that's another term that we use. It's a godly term with the devil's dictionary. Are they really friends? Uh, No one tells the truth (laughs) on Facebook, not even the adults. You know, they they brag about what their kids have done or what their kids are doing and who their kids really are. And then the next parent feels like they have to keep up the Joneses and they embellish their kids' uh, accomplishments. And it's one big, uh, you know, phony fest. And uh, so, you know, it's, 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 a, it's this virtual world that we're living in, and it perpetuates uh, the whole postmodern worldview, which basically says you create your own truth, your own reality. So, you know, Facebook should be a tool for good. All digital technology should be a tool for expanding the kingdom of God, for uh, promoting uh, the good things of mankind, and it can be. But because of our sin nature, it's become our sin nature on steroids. We've turned it into a, a weapon against us and uh, against the church, um, as opposed to the tool that it should should actually be. 
Yeah. Do you see, I know, knowing that you also run Shepherd's Hill Academy, a residential counseling program there for troubled teens, uh, do you see teens coming into the program uh, that have just been overcome by this? They, you know, I've heard that it, in many cases, starts small, uh, maybe even to a parent appears innocent, but then there's a, a progressive nature to it. Uh, maybe talk about that for a moment, Trace. Well, you know, it starts early on, and, and, and this is really incumbent upon the parents to really get educated because, you know, uh, 90% of kids under two years old have a have a, a digital history already, and uh, they're they're operating these these these, as Bill O'Reilly would say, machines, uh, and it's rewiring brain circuitry, and it's it's really causing major developmental delays uh, in our kids, and uh, it's it's causing a myriad of other problems, attention deficit, and you know things like that that. Uh, doctors then complicate the problem by, by dispensing medications for the different disorders and maladies that they claim that are out there. Seventy percent of the kids that come here to Shepherd's Hill and bushel loads of medications are leaving medication free. Now you have to ask yourself why, and we'll discuss that at the conference. But it, this is uh, indicative of a cultural problem. You know, if you go to some cultures around the, uh, the world, they have different tastes and appetites for things precisely because the culture is influencing them to have those appetites, or appetites can be trained. In some cultures, they love their neighbors. In others, they eat them. And so uh, in, this, in this nation, we're a nation of, of uh, we're a highly sexualized nation, a nation that has, been, uh, uh, has turned entertainment into the new god, music in particular. I mean, one of the number one TV shows on, on, uh, on TV right now is, is American what? American Idol. And all addiction really is, is what uh, Scripture is, is called idolatry. It's basically saying this is something I have to have, I need it, or I think I need it. And uh, that's what we've done with our, our little gadgets, our digital te- uh, technology. We've turned these things into uh, little, little uh, idols. And uh, God is not going to compete with that. And, uh, it, it, but he'll let us, he'll, he'll let us uh, worship those things until uh, uh, the logical outworking uh, happens. And uh, you know, they're gonna, they're, we'll end up destroying ourselves with these things. And I see that with the kids that come to, to Shepherd's Hill all the time. Every one of them are addicted to digital technology. And I don't think there's a, an exception to, to, if there is, it's very few exceptions uh, uh, that come through Shepherd's Hill. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We really look forward to hearing more information uh, at the conference. Frankly, we need information about this. I think parents, by and large, today are uh, dramatically unaware. So we look forward to the conference. We pray that you listening out there will uh, go to protectthefamily.net, protectthefamily.net, and register for this conference, a call to arms, protecting our children and families from media's menacing dark side. Uh, this is a ministry of Cornerstone Baptist Church right here in Orlando, Florida. You can get more information at the website, cornerstoneorlando.org, or call our church offices at 407 407- 971-7685. And Trace, if, if parents out there are wanting more information, uh, want to begin uh, learning how to protect their families, where can they find more uh, resources, more information from you and your ministry? Sure. Uh, but before I give that out, I'd like to, your listeners to, to know this is not a conference that's going to be uh, encouraging people to discard their technology. Technology is here to stay. We're going to have to learn how to navigate it and use it as a tool rather than a weapon. So I don't want anyone to think that we're anti-technology. I'm pro-technology. I'm just not pro-destroying ourselves with it. But they can find more information at licensedtoparent.org. Licensedtoparent.org. They can hear our 30-minute weekly radio broadcast, our daily one minutes packed full of great golden nuggets for parenting in the 21st century. And then if they want to know anything about the residential program and more, there's also resources at, at uh, licensed, I'm sorry, if they want to know something about our, our uh, residential program, Shepherd's Hill Academy, uh, helpmytroubledteen.org. Just go to helpmytroubledteen.org and they can find out anything they want to find out right there. Uh, thank you so much, Trace. And again, the conference, May 29th through the 31st. Register today at protectthefamily.net. God bless you.